All right, today I'd like to demo my famous pomegranate chicken. Well, it's actually not famous, but it is pomegranate chicken. It's a very, very, very exotic dish. Why? Because we're using pomegranate juice, so that automatically makes it exotic. Here is a spice mixture that there's too many things in there to name, so you'll have to go to this site. I have it all uh, spelled out for you how much. It's cumin and coriander and some hot pepper and some herb de Provence and a little bit of cinnamon, believe it or not. And uh, anyway, go to the site. All the amounts are there. All right, I'm going to put in some crushed garlic. It's about two cloves. Now, I'm going to marinate this overnight in some pomegranate juice, but I got this thing. I like to get the dry uh, spices mixed onto the chicken first before I pour over my juice. I don't know. I probably could just do everything in the pan, or I'm sorry, everything in the bag, and just shake it up. Um, probably would be the same thing, but I just I like the spices touching the chicken before I pour on the stuff, so that's probably just me being crazy. But um, I don't know. It, I got a theory. That's 16 ounces of pomegranate juice. They sell that in every store now. You know those oxidants that I've never liked? I've always been antioxidant. All right. So everyone's supposed to be drinking pomegranate juice now because of the antioxidants. But I'm going to use a 16 ounce bottle of pomegranate juice. Now, they didn't have the plain one. I actually used the tangerine pomegranate juice. So this should be really nice. They have blueberry. They have uh, cherry. So the plain one works great. So whatever one you can get. So that was one day later. All right, 12 hour minimum. Okay, 24 hours is actually better. So after 24 hours, 12 minimum, you're going to take it out of a bag. You're going to put it in a bowl. Now do not, do not throw away that marinade. Because what you're going to do here is you're going to pour that off into a saucepan, and we're going to reduce that down to kind of a sauce, and we're going to top the chicken with it. See how it's all kind of works together? So pour that off. Now we're going to get these ready for the oven. Take a paper towel, wad it up, use your tongs, and pat these dry. Because I don't want my spice mixture and my olive oil mixing with water. It won't stick. So once those were pretty much dried, you're going to take your marinated chicken legs, chicken drumettes. They're not really the leg. The leg is you know, the thigh and the drumstick, so like you really cared about that. I added a couple tablespoons of my spice mixture and about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. All right, and we're going to mix this up, and what I did forget is salt. So we're going to need about a teaspoon and a half of salt. Now, the marinade had no salt in it, okay? So you're going to salt these right before they go in the oven. We're going to put them in a baking dish. Now, make sure. It's okay if the chicken's touching, but you don't want them on top of each other. So this dish just perfectly fits 12 chicken legs. So, uh, you know, if you're, if you're using a smaller dish and they, you're piling them on top of each other, they're not going to bake evenly. I baked them at 400 for about 40 minutes. You know when they're done. They're tender. They're fork tender, so you got to use your own cooking time. You might have a different size pan. If your pan's bigger, they're going to cook faster. In that 40 minutes, I took that time to reduce that pomegranate juice basically down to a sauce. Okay, So it's not really thick like a syrup, although it did thicken a little bit. I probably reduced it by two-thirds. So that two cups of juice probably, I don't know, what's, what's a third of two cups? I don't know. Someone, someone figure it out and post it on the site. But just reduce that down by about two thirds, and that is one delicious, delicious, exotic, almost erotic, but one exotic chicken dish. That pomegranate juice has that just beautiful, sweet, tart flavor. All right, I also used all those exotic uh, Middle Eastern spices and herbs, the cumin and the cinnamon, the coriander, and so forth. And again, uh, check the amounts on the site. You can make your own custom mix. Um, really simple. You might not like a certain one I use. So very versatile dish. The pomegranate juice is the common denominator. It makes a great marinade for chicken. And, uh, you know, we're always looking to figure out new things to do to chicken. Well, that really didn't come out right. Uh, you know what I mean. New ways to use chicken in recipes. It gets boring. And this uh, certainly is not boring. I served it on some saffron rice pilaf that had a little bit of almond and uh, uh, currants in there. I actually will demo that for you. So anyway, give this a try. Drink a bottle for yourself. It's good with the antioxidants. And, uh, and then use some for the marinade. All right, give it a try. And enjoy.